I am super worried right now that my camera's gonna fall backwards and fall all the way down to the floor below. It's like shaking if I move just an inch. Anyway, it's shaking still. Oh no, it's not. Anyway, my name's Annabelle, and today I'm going to talk about the regrets that I have about this tiny house build. I'm using the word regret because I feel like that's the word most people would use. I wouldn't really say I have any regrets. It was all just a learning experience and I've learned from the things that I've I've done. So I wouldn't call them regrets necessarily, but they are things I would do differently in the next tiny house build. So it's been about really like about a year since I've done any serious building. Um, my tiny house is kind of at a place where it's just gonna stay until it it moves somewhere so I've had some time to think about how I would design something differently there's been a few things that that came to mind when I started thinking about potentially a second tiny house build the first thing would be tiles so I had read a lot on other people's tiny house builds and why they chose to not do tiles because they felt like when they moved the tiny house the tiles might crack or break and why would you want to build something and then if you move it have to repair it so that kind of made sense to me and so I did paneling everywhere um, including the shower and behind like the kitchen area I've since seen numerous seems like thousands of tiny houses that have backsplashes and tiled showers and so I feel like that's kind of a myth that nobody really tested and maybe it really doesn't matter I guess there's not much of a worry for for me because I'm not planning on taking my tiny house cross country and so I wish I had done either a backsplash or a tiled shower so as most of you guys may know I have stairs that are really awesome and I love I love that they don't take up much space they make the this whole area downstairs feel so open and large I would say very expansive so I am really happy I went with the stairs that I went with but I would probably add another pedal or two um, or steps whatever you want to call them not for me but for other people that come and visit because they can't it is a challenge for them to climb the chair the stairs because it is about a foot and a half step up which is more than or maybe it's about double um, it's like two regular stairs so I thought it would be okay because there's the pole there for you to kind of pull yourself up to um, and there hasn't been any like serious issues it would just be easier and more comfortable and accessible for for other people if it was just a shorter step so another thing is my loft up here is painted white and then every and the ceiling and then everywhere else the bathrooms also painted white but all the main walls in the downstairs kitchen and living area it, they are all polyurethane and the natural wood color like the color you see behind me. Initially when I designed this house and was looking at like color schemes and what I really wanted, I was planning on painting the whole thing white. I felt like the wood would make it feel kind of like a cabin and I really wanted it to feel more like a, a regular house or a home. And so I don't know if I necessarily like that there's so much wood. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have commented when I've talked about painting over or sanding off the polyurethane and then painting white over it and a lot of you don't like that idea. It's super important for the house to feel good to you and it does, the house does feel good and other people have said, you know, just put decorations on the wall um, and I think part of what I like so much about the tiny house is that I didn't feel like I needed to get I didn't feel like I needed to decorate the place or get anything. Um, I wanted it really plain and simple. And so in another tiny house build, I would probably paint <clears throat> everywhere white just because there's something really clean and minimalistic and simple about just having white walls everywhere. 
Um, and obviously having accents of maybe the darker color that you see behind me, something like that. And I can, I can change my house if I wanted to, but I probably won't just because I've already built it, so I, I don't really want to. It's not that much of a regret or something that I don't like that I'm going to change it, so. And then lastly, I would have put in more windows. I would have put in, you know, triple the amount of windows. I have really great light up here, but I would have put window, 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 three up on the other sides, more downstairs, more in the bathroom. You can never have enough natural light. It's really hard to visualize a space and think about how many windows you will need without actually seeing what the space looks like. Like I have, you know, massive parts of the walls that are just blank, which is great because I can hang things or put shelving or whatever else I may need in the future, but yeah, natural light is really, really nice in tiny houses, in any house, and so in another tiny house build, I would do at least double the amount of windows I have, and I think I have six. So I have six windows plus a door with a window, so I might do at least 12 windows. Um, or bigger windows, you know. That's kind of my last thing. I don't think I have, I can't think of anything else that I'm unhappy, unhappy with. It'll be interesting because I am building a teardrop in March, April, whenever it gets warm. And so I have this whole plan to put a massive plexiglass sheet over the top. I saw someone else do it and so I am definitely making sure there's tons of natural light in the teardrop. So that's all I have for this video. If you want to see more, you can subscribe. I will see you in another video very soon. I hope you're having an amazing day.